Introduction to Biostatistics. Biostatistics as a scientific industry. Statistics is a science of collection, presentation, and the analysis of data. Biostatistics is a study of statistics as applied to biological areas. Biological laboratory experiments, medical research, including clinical research and the health services research, all use statistical methods. Uh, biostatistics is divided descriptive and the analytical biostatistics. Uh, the purpose of descriptive biostatistics is the collection and the systematization of data on the research subject. It includes methods allowing to present the data in a compact and easy to understand form. This could include tables, graphs, frequency measures, measures of central tendency and the measures of dispersion. Analytical biostatistics aims to obtain statistical inference on the basis of collected and systematized information about the object of study. This stage is called testing statistical hypothesis. The first group answers the question are there any differences between the groups in terms of some indicator? The second group allows the proof uh, the existence of a relationship between two or more indicators. Basic concepts. Uh, there are some um, basic concepts. The first is there are the uh, population and the sample. Population is a collection of all individuals or items under consideration in a statistical study. A sample is that part of the population from which information is collected. Patients constituting the population or sample respectively are referred to as elements of the population or samples based on the data obtained for the whole sample estimates the total target population. For the correct estimation of a population sample, of it must possess the important quality, representativeness. Sample representativeness has the property of faithfully represent the population from which it was selected. What is a representative, representative sample? A representative sample is a small quantity of something that accurately reflects the larger entity. An example is when a small number of people accurately reflect the members of an entire population. In a group, uh, for example, in a group of uh, 30 students, in which half the students are male and the half are female. A representative sample might include six students, three males and the three females. Probability sampling methods. Probability sampling uh, means that every member of the population has a chance of being selected. If you want to produce uh, results that are representative of the whole population, you need to use a probability sampling technique. Uh, there are four main types of probability sample. Uh, simple, random sample, systematic sample, stratified sample, cluster sample. Uh, in next video, we will talk about these methods. The basic concepts, next basic concepts, variables. A 
characteristics that varies from one person or thing to another is called a variable. A variable is any characteristic that varies from one individual member of the population to another. Examples of variables for humans are height, weight, uh, number of siblings, sex, marital status, and the eye color. Uh, the first three of these variables yield numerical information and are examples of quantitative variables. Last three yield non-numerical information and are examples of qualitative variables. Uh, quantitative variables divided uh, by discrete and the continuous. Some variables such as uh, uh, numbers of children in family, the numbers of cars sitting on the certain road on different days, or the numbers of students taking basics of statistical statistics course are the results of counting and the, thus these are discrete variables. Continuous variables, quantities such as length, weight or temperature can in principle be measured arbitrarily accurately. There is no individual unit. Weight may be measured to the nearest gram, but it could be measured more accurately, say to the tenth, tenth of a gram. Such a variable, call it continuous, is different from a discrete variable. Qualitative variables. Qualitative variables divide nominal and the ordinal. Uh, nominal variables, um, the data are unordered. For example, race. Uh, one equal is Caucasian. Two equal Asian American. Three African American. Four others. And the subset of these variables are binary or dichotomous variables have only two categories, gender, male and the female. What about the ordinal variables? Uh, the data are ordered, for example, age. Uh, the first is um, from 10 to 19 years. The second from 20 to 29 years. Likelihood of participating in a vaccine trial. And the next example, for example, income, low, medium, high. As they are ordinal variables. In biostatistics, are several ways characteristics for assessing uh, characteristics on the sample as a whole. They are divided into point features and the characteristics of variation. Point features measure the central tendency of the trait in the sample or the population and they include the mode, the median, and the mean. The characteristics of the variation Necessary to estimate the distribution of values. Raise the front of central tendency or in other words to determine the reliability characteristics of central tendency. The characteristics of variation are the range, standard deviation, dispersion, 
and the scale quartiles. Uh, how we calculate uh, these characteristics, we will talk about in next video.